wanted to talk a little bit about how you change your leadership style and share an experience that I had when I was an executive uh, reporting to several boards. The task of reporting to a board is that you have multiple personalities on a board, and it was something that I would have to do quarterly as part of my responsibilities. What I recognized is, um, you know, my skill is definitely uh, speaking and delivering information, which is what I would have to do. And um, I'm very good with numbers, but I would say that it was something that I really had to work hard at. On those boards, I had everybody that was like my personality that could see the bigger picture, but I also had very microscopic um, contacts on those boards. What those uh, personalities uh, did was they offered me the opportunity uh, to grow because what happened for me is I could see big picture, I could see the themes of the things that I needed to report. But the microscopic people in on those boards really challenged me in a way uh, that was a bit uncomfortable. So what I had to start to do was to try to think, what is it based on the board uh, members' personalities, what kind of things did they need to be able to feel satisfied with the information that I would have to share with them? So I would think more microscopically. I uh, reviewed my reports more often. I looked for um, nuances that I knew that would be uh, brought up in those meetings because for those individuals, microscopic was important um, for what they needed to feel contented with the service that I was offering as a health and wellness consultant. So this is an example of awareness. Was it difficult for me? Absolutely. Because at first you think, um, can't you see the details right in front of you? But in fact, I needed to recognize and learn as a leader that I needed to understand each and every one of those board members and what their needs were. So through the years of uh, consulting for 10 years with uh, some of these boards, it allowed me to be a lot more introspective. I really um, gave myself a lot more time uh, to understand what was needed of me. And I worked really arduously between board meetings to ensure that I was doing something that was does not come to me more naturally, which is to be more microscopic, to be able to respond to the needs of the board. So I hope this uh, this um, story is, is helpful. And what I'd like you to do is to think, what are you willing to do to gain that awareness about the skills that you need to develop that don't come naturally to you. I'm uh, Roxanne Derhodge. I'm a mental health and wellness specialist. I speak on authentic leadership. And if you're needing more information on me, you can go to RoxanneDurhodge.com.